understand some other defects in requirements gathering process, the first one that comes on the list is called implicit requirements, which means they are hidden or implied, they are abstract or one-line statements. Some may call implicit requirements as a type of requirement, but it is a defect in requirements gathering process. Let us understand what is a hidden requirement, implicit requirement and how to resolve this problem. Let us take an example. I go to a restaurant, order for a cup of coffee. Three words, cup of coffee. When I order for a cup of coffee, do I get only a cup and a coffee or do I get something extra? Maybe you will start telling that you got a saucer, you got a tissue paper, you got sugar extra, you got a stirrer or a spoon extra. And some of you may be saying that you got a bill also, which is implied. I didn't ask for it. I asked for a cup of coffee. In some hotels, they may start with a glass of water. Depending upon where I am taking this coffee, the bearer's finger might be inside the cup or outside the cup. I didn't ask for it. I asked for a cup of coffee, but this implicit requirement has come along with it. Or if I go to a five-star restaurant, probably the bearer will bring a cow in front of me, ask me to milk the cow, he will also give decoction and ask me to prepare the coffee and overall he will charge me a bill with a GST. I didn't ask for it. All these are all implicit requirements. How is this bearer able to give so many implicit requirements when I ask for just a coffee, cup of coffee? Is it because of his experience, his rapport with the customer or some standard procedures that the restaurant is following? If you go to any part of the world, the MACD, the people are asking the same set of questions and they have been trained to ask the same set of questions. So who is in your project that can gather all these hidden requirements? Probably the project manager the consultant, the business analyst, system analyst. Now the big question is, where are those requirements which have been implicitly collected by the people? Most of the times, they remain in their head. They are not documented anywhere. So when they leave the project, the implicit requirements also go along with them. When they leave the organization, the implicit requirements are lost once for all. So what should be done? We should document them as domain handbooks or checklists and whatever form it can be reused. We call this as reusing the requirements.